now, so what do they, after some data, what do they like? I mean, what do they expect? And uh, how do they start choosing and deciding you know, which trip they want to book? You know, they, your guests, they want to be understood. They want to be taken care of. They want to be able to trust you. They want to see that you have expertise in, your, in what you're doing. And they want to pay a fair price. Not too much, but not, uh, not too little. So that's what they're looking for. And keep that always in mind when you're communicating with your guest, especially if it's the first interaction. Keep that in mind. They are at, a, at, a, at this stage of the interaction, they are at a different level. Now they have a, maybe they just decided on Silk Road and Uzbekistan. They have images and scenes um, in their mind and in their imaginations. Don't confront them with facts. Don't confront them with prices. Don't confront them with disclaimers and terms in the beginning. You know, be there where they are. That's images and scenes. Ask them what, what kind of images and what kind of expectations they are looking to fulfill in this trip. And, uh, you know, over the last four years, uh, um, we've got some great, great reviews from, from your guests and IndieGuide providers are doing an excellent job. And that's the best job, that's the best part of my job, reading those reviews. Um, and we have a big claim, claim you know, uh, by enabling life-changing experiences, but it's happening. Based on the reviews and what guests are saying about you and your services and the trip with you, you know, experience of the life, memories for life, best moments of the life, introduction to another world, a trip to remember, you know, with and a trip to remember with their child, children. So, so you are already creating life-changing experiences, and that's what they're looking for. Because travel has become, it's not a commodity that's why i don't like to talk about tool products but that's the term but you know it's and it's not a service anymore it's not an experience anymore it can be a trans a transform transformation it can transform your guest and it's always two ways probably you know your guests have an impact on you and on your country your country and you have an impact on your guests and let's make this a great positive impact. And looking back, you know, uh, the reviews that you're getting are just amazing. So it's like almost 100% positive. You now it's between 95 to 99%. So it's, 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 it's already great. And so they talk about, you know, that mostly if they talk about if there's a common pattern in, in the positive reviews, it's about the personality of the host and guide. It's about the flexibility of the host and guide in, in you know, if situations change and they always do, you know that. So situations always change on, during the trip, then uh, it was planned. So how flexible are you? How uh, do you take care of, you know, changing expectations and changing moods of your guests? And also about the, the, the little moments magical moments it's not the museum it's not the view of a valley it's the connections that make the biggest impression on, on your guests and that's what we are reading in the reviews you know it, it may be a dinner it may be a talk it's a situation in the car um, it's just this personal connection and affection to each other that makes this trip so so great and at the end you know if they say it's like living behind a friend um, that you've made on your trip um, that's when there is this connection. And in the few cases of negative reviews, um, it's just the opposite. You know, when if there is no flexibility, um, no understanding and not caring enough of, of your guests, if it's about you know, technical issues, payments, terms, rooms, cleanliness, punctuality, these are the things that we're reading in, in, in negative reviews. Um, of course, your driver has to be on time. Um, you know, once is okay, but if, if, if he's late every day and every time, that's just not acceptable. Um, that's a small thing, but that's the only thing that they, they, have, they will have in the review, that your driver is not punctual. Everything else might be perfect, but that's a negative review, and you don't want that. You know, 
English, the language barriers are an issue, and sometimes safety. You know, uh, in some case, if the if the back seats don't have safety belts, if your driver is texting while driving, Europeans, especially Germans, Swiss people, they are very very uh, sensitive about that. You know, if you text while driving, if you talk while while driving. Um, if you, of course, if you smoke, that's not acceptable while driving uh, your drivers. And that's in the negative reviews. That's the pattern. That means everything else is, is great. But these are the, the small little things that leave such a bad impression that it results in an overall bad review.